Hey guys, Christian Mishka here, and this is going to be my last video of the year, and then it will be the year 2016. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a very basic thing in Blender I just discovered uh, recently, and it's going to be DNA, because DNA is pretty cool. Uh, let's remove this lamp by deleting that, and um, go switch to Cycles Render just for the time being. Now, um, this is a pretty simple trick, and uh, I'm going to just go with the default cube and go into edit mode. I'm going to grab it on the x-axis and move it by 2, and then I'll scale it by pressing S and shift Z, or, yeah, shift Z and make it long and make it skinny like that, because it's going to be two um, tubes, essentially. And then I'll add a loop cut, so control R and put it right there on the edge, click and then right click, and then I'll subdivide it by pressing all and subdividing it like that. Cool. And I'll do it one more time. And then I'll press smooth, but I'll only do it on the z-axis. Z or I won't do it on the z-axis. And I'll do it um, a couple of times. That should be good. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into object mode, smooth that off. I'm going to do a lot in the modifiers tab. So over here we're gonna we're gonna mirror it so it's not now on the other side, and we're actually gonna grab the whole object and grab it on the X and move it in a bit. That should look that should look good. Okay, so now we have these two pillars, and uh, we need to add a um, cylinder, and uh, so we just add a cylinder cylinder into the center, rotate it on the Y axis by ninety, so R Y ninety. And then scale on it, shift X to make it small like that. And then scale on the X just to make it extend into both of those areas. And we'll bring it up to right about there. And then we'll press shift D to duplicate it and move it on the Z axis to bring it down. We're going to put it right there. Okay, looks good. Kind of have this ladder already. And uh, one other thing I'm going to do is actually remove... I'm going to go into face select, and I'm going to press this one, press control, and that'll select a line of them, and I'll go around like this, and then I'll press X to delete it, and I'll only do the faces. That way we still have the geometry there, just in case we have, for our modifiers, it should be good. Okay. That way we have um, this kind of ladder link, and then we'll minimize this modifier, add another one, and we're going to do array. And we want it to go up. So instead of this, we're going to do one on, oops, on the Z, oops, on the third link, on the third one. So that way it goes up. And we're going to do like 10 and like that. We'll merge them. They look a little bit weird, but hold on. Let's add another mod modifier. Let's add the um, simple deform modifier. And uh, this is pretty simple. You can bring up this angle to like, uh, let's start at 100. 100. And it begins to twist it. Maybe you could do 400. And you can end up getting a DNA kind of ladder. And that's one way to do it. And it works pretty well. You can keep adding to this, make this count go up to like 30 links. But since as you add more, it stretches this, you need to bring this angle up. Now the way you can account for that is to keep this angle at 45 degrees, but to put it above the array one, which makes it look really weird at first, but I'll show you a simple trick. So all you have to do is press shift add, and we're going to add in an empty. We're going to do plane axis, and it's right here at the center. And then we're going to go back here, and on on the array one, we're going to check Object Offset, and then we're going to choose the empty one. Now when we rotate the empty, it rotates all of the pieces. Look, if I zoom out, it rotates them all like in a circle. So that's a really good way to get a circle and a spiral. But I'm just going to rotate it on the z-axis to kind of twist it like that. And the amount I need to twist it is 45 degrees, so rotate z45 and it lines up perfectly 
and you just want to make sure that it's rotated the same amount that whoops that the modifier is right here and 45 degrees I think looks pretty cool and this way you can add as many as you want you can do 50 and it's still the same linkage which is cool and we'll go back to 30 then you can find a cool position for your camera maybe like right um, there or space type in camera and go down to align camera to view and we might even try to select our camera eh, and rotate it on a Y and then press Y oops do not have a camera in the scene where's our camera Versus, okay I guess we do okay yeah anyways that's good enough now we can add a uh, whoops simple material a node editor click on this and go over here to materials and then add a new material and we're just gonna make a simple material nothing is so fancy we're not gonna get into materials right now and we're gonna go we're gonna just gonna do a glass one because it looks pretty cool put in a surface make it a little bit bluish and go to a rendered and that looks pretty sweet now one thing you can do is I highly recommend getting this um, pl uh, app plugin and it's called pro lighting skies and I have the demo version but you can pay to get the full version but I usually just use it to use it just to see what my uh, materials look like and then I get my own otherwise um so yeah you can just get it it comes with three cool clouds evening uh, morning and cloudy and yeah all you have to do is type that in in your um, plugins but yeah I highly recommend it it's, uh, and uh, yeah so this is the uh, glass one and other things you can do to improve the way